Monday. Monday. Um, it's this month is clipping right along. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be June in no time. Yeah, and I can't wait for the June Magoo you. I can't. You've wait. been waiting for this one for a while. Yeah, yeah. This one, this one's exciting. It's it, it's it's super cute. I love it. Yeah, it is cute. I'm excited too. We got a bunch of people joining from uh, from Instagram as well right now, and uh, just so you guys know, want want you guys to 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 hang out because Artie may have a giveaway today. In fact, I'm not going to say May. She'll have a giveaway today. Yeah, giveaway live. Yes, it's been something to to look forward to. Hello, good morning. How's everybody doing? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's May. I, yeah, school's going to be out here. Like, that's so weird. We don't have any kids in high school, so it's a little different. But. It's nice. It's really nice. <laughs> yeah, it's still, it's weird that it's the end of the school year coming up right here. Hello, hi, friends. It's funny, because a lot of people will, will tell us, oh, do you miss, you know, the, you know the the kids schedules and the, you know all the kids things to do i i don't i don't I, I hope i don't sound like a jerk but uh yeah i i don't at all i love it <laughs> yeah you sound like a jerk no you don't yeah i figured <laughs> oh that's so cute that's so nice yeah it works for for a lot of different things um <laughs> oh yeah it's very upsetting this construction stuff it's very yeah <laughs> you have to be flexible as they figure things out as you figure things out it's like oh i thought this would work as a temporary situation but it's not working or this is you know the electricity is out in this part of my house now or this water is turned off it's uh yeah yeah <laughs> It's it's interesting and and yet last week while while you were doing some Magoo you stuff, I I realized oh crap we have I have like three more rooms to completely drain of stuff and take out to the storage bin so I had to do that um, because flooring is going to be coming in soon um, we're we are only a, a couple of days away from drywall and inst and uh insulation being installed so it's it's moving yeah should we should we check out a, a update on the yeah since we like to, to to take a little tour with with liz she uh we can definitely do that yeah go okay. ahead go yeah we'll, we'll look at the... all right so she's gonna grab uh uh her her handy dandy cam and check out everything. Here we go. There, there she is. And uh, let me unmute her. There we go. <laughs> so this is under our stairs. This was a wall. There was no way to access this amazing storage space. And now we have all this extra storage, which is so exciting. It was always a space that haunted me. Literally, there were ghosts in here. No, um, it was just an empty space that we had no. I knew there was a great storage space in here, so we got to open this up. And now our big old Christmas tree is going to go in there. All our Christmas decorations. So that's cool. I could just walk right through here into the kitchen right now. Oh, I don't know if I can. That's a little narrow. Never mind. <laughs> we'll go this way. All right. So here is the, the kitchen here. And the comments are really little on my phone, John. So if you want to read them to me, I can. So this is the other side of that open under the stair part. Liz, uh, Liz Ann said, I love finding hidden space to use. And um, Kathy Pedley said, get ready for the drywall dust. Ew, really? Oh. Yeah. yeah. I thought the dusty part was the demo part. Uh, so this this wall is going to be the cookie wall. And Katie says that's so much extra storage space. Awesome. I, I agree. It's 
it, it's a pretty big area underneath there. That's that, that's uh, that's gonna be fun. This left part with the slant that is our pantry in there. So that was nice to have. You know, we always had access to that section, but this part was always like, what's under there? Isn't there <laughs> just like a big open spot? It's a huge. It's a big closet. Yeah, uh, uh, Liesl said that that's the perfect cat condo area. <laughs> I love that idea. I'm sure Mr. John does not. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so this, yeah, this is all going to be my big bins of flour and sugar that are going to fit in these cabinets under here. I'm going to have a space for my mixer right there. This is a little frame out for our microwave because the microwave is deeper than the, the cabinets are going to be. The, the micro is going to be kind of tucked back into that space a little bit more into the, the studs, which is really nice. Uh, Heidi said that when her girls were little, uh, they made that space into a, a little secret play space. And I okay. see us doing that like maybe when we have grandkids or something. Oh, boy. Yeah. Kid condo under there. Yeah. Uh, so this is the, the overall space here. We're still at studs, but we have the drywall stacked here ready to go. The insulation. The cookie wall is is really going to be great, and I love the feature at the end of of the room. If you can go into that a little bit, yeah. So this is a fireplace that we never used. We live in California, so it wasn't it wasn't utilized very well. But it it was a huge space. We thought you know we could just see this part of the the fireplace right here, but when they opened up that niche, it's eight feet tall four feet wide and two feet deep. So it's the perfect size for a built-in little set of drawers and some shelves right here. So it's so great that this is gonna hold a lot of stuff but not take any space out of the room. So we're super excited about that, about how we can use this unique little space. And then uh, that is where my a cabinet for my sheeter is going to go right here. My sheeter is gonna roll into a cabinet right here so it will be easy to put against my island that's going right here got a new door and just asked are you picking a certain paint color to make sure it doesn't cast a funky shade on the cookies oh man you know we haven't even thought about paint color a whole lot mostly it's been the cabinet color is the really like big stress because <laughs> um you can't you know we don't want to change that one ever so considering the cabinet colors, but not as much the paint color because there's so many cabinets. Uh, the only paint color is going to be really in the dining area. So yeah, I you've got, um, in fact, you have tile on the wall at your cookie area. Yeah, the backslash will be a tile here. And I really don't decorate in the kitchen or dining room. I do sometimes in the dining room. I did before. Most of the time I just walk through this hall and my office is right there. That's but you will there. now. Right. You think so? Heck yeah. It's going to be gorgeous in there. Well, of course, yeah, it will be. But, well, it'll be interesting because all my decorating stuff is in my office, you know? Oh, that's true. So, yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting just to see how differently we use the space, too. Just live in and the different floor plan and stuff. So Yeah, and, and some of that drywall is actually going upstairs. Uh, we have the master bath and... We reconfigured the uh, uh, the closet and the the master bath. We got rid of that huge garden tub upstairs. So some of that's going up. Yeah, yeah. So that's the update on the kitchen. Exciting stuff. It'll be it'll look so different with the walls up. But yeah, I'm excited about my. Finally, I get two ovens. I'm I'm so excited. <laughs> will, you, will your island have cabinets all the way around or some seating space? Yeah, so it'll have um, cabinets and drawers on both sides and then seating at the end. So a little bit of, just for little two two stools on the end. Yeah, because for the most part, that's all we need. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> well, it's like it, the kids always love to, to, to have breakfast like in the kitchen because that's kind of the, a hive of activity in there where yeah. people are coming in and grabbing a, a drink and grabbing food and sit standing and talking that, that that's always been where everybody lands. Yeah. We had an Island before that didn't have seating and I really loved it. Cause it was just a work horse, you know, it just was, you just 
did stuff there. No one sat at it. But uh, a lot of people say they really like the the seating area on it. So we did add two feet to our to our island to add that. So I yeah, I think I'll like that because the kids did like it when we had the peninsula. They like to sit there. This is an interesting little detail of the cookie wall here. The water line here that was for our fridge that used to live here. And Mr. John insisted that we have a little a little bar uh what is that spigot what is it called yeah it's like it's a bar water spigot wall bar. water spigot yeah so we're gonna have a water dispenser right here so that that's why it says h2o right there <laughs> it's gonna be a little little spigot right here you just push to get water because my mixer is going to be here this is going to be in a, an appliance garage and uh, this is where my mixer will be on an open counter space here where i do all my cookie uh, dough mixing and icing mixing so water for icing right here pretty pretty unique a little different not a sink there's no drainage or anything it's just a bar bar, bar tap for water he's like the water's already here let's mm -hmm. let's utilize it yeah yeah so i want to walk around my island to go to the sink over there to get water i was like i can i can handle that and he's like no you can't <laughs> at the cookie wall so yeah and the our contractor said that's a that's a pretty easy deal the water's already there so let's do it so pretty, mm -hmm. pretty yeah there's um there's also a light now in our we do have a little closet under the stair and it never had a light in it and it was so irritating <laughs> now we have and a said that yes dear is the right response <laughs> so yeah i was like I, I can i can walk around and get water and he's like but you don't have to <laughs> no, yeah i, think, I know i'm gonna love it i know i'm gonna love it it just seems so funny like really a spigot of water right here pretty pretty specific to our wants but i other people could i mean not that we're gonna ever sell this house we're gonna we're gonna die in this house yeah <laughs> But people could fill up their little coffee pots right there next to their little appliances too. Um, yeah, that's that's uh, the update. All right. Well, I'm glad that it's all done because your sound just got real funky for some reason. So yeah, and Anne said at least you don't have littles that will walk by and flip it on, turn the water on. <laughs> Yeah, and it's in a closed cabinet, so it's like not you won't see it. It's kind of like a pot filler, mm -hmm. but a little little simpler. And you can go to my other my other camera, huh? Or should I just leave it? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. We'll we'll, we'll go to the other camera. There we go. All right. So she's going to be moving to the back to the office, and we'll get that ready. Um, um, there she is. Do, do, do. Hey, hey. Hey. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's really half of the renovation too. So, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. You do. Yeah, I bet. I mean, it makes sense. But I won't have a sink. It won't be like I'm going to be washing my hands there because <laughs> decorate the cookies in the kitchen. I decorate in my office here most of the time sometimes i will decorate in the dining room but yeah that might change you know put the water bottle filler taps in near an outside door so it has possibilities that's cool yeah 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 i'm seeing more and more of these like beverage stations or like just a water filler in a kitchen it's interesting my buddy has a whole bar that he put into his uh his cellar it's really it's pretty awesome yeah, I think there's so many more options now and, and customizing, you know, what how you use your space. Yeah, it's actually been going, it's um it's not been too bad for us, surprisingly. Uh, it's kind of fun. Like we shop differently, we cook differently, um, we're living differently right now, but uh but but it sure is it's entertaining we're having we're having a good time with it so far so good but we also don't have little kids i think that would be a whole different situation i think that would be really hard um and that we can uh be in our our 
the other side of the house. You know, we moved our bedroom to the other side, which is really nice to be able to do, to have that. You know, the girls' bedroom, they're not using it, so we've taken it over. Without that, it'd be, it'd be a lot harder. Yeah. A one Once in a lifetime. We are going to have Bailey come and visit um, in a couple weeks. That will be interesting to add another person into the mix because there, there is no uh, space for her. So we'll be a little, a little tighter, a little sardine family while she's here. <laughs> we'll get a little cozier, huh? Uh, so we have some homeworks, right? Yes, we do. Yay. Speaking of home and work, working on the home, got some, some cookies to look at. They've been so beautiful. All right. So here we go. Here is... Wow. You hearing the dinging? Yeah, somebody needs to, to know <laughs> that we're alive. <laughs> Speak of the Bailey. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off on my computer. <laughs> that yeah. sound. So we all know that uh, that the set for this month is this awesome set. Yeah. I just love it. I love the colors in this. And here we go with the homework for this last week. We're going to start with Kathy Lorenzo. Yeah, so pretty. Look and this, this is Charlotte Jones. Wow. How beautiful. Mm. And a Becky Norton. Yeah, look at that. I, I have a question about this. Are you using the same little little wagon and just redecorating it? Or are you making a new wagon? Because that would be super smart. You just take off like some of the parts and redecorate it. <laughs> yeah, that's really it's so awesome. I and and she's making one. Uh, she's made one for the last three months. So yeah, continues. different themes and seeing it in the different themes, it looks good in every little little vignette, little little thing you put on there. So cute. Here's Danielle Bowler Jack. So beautiful. Those little etchy little leaves in there. Oh, and those flowers. And some real blueberries in there. I'm like, wait, those are some real blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. This is Harriet wow. Aiden. Gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. They were talking about the humidity was making the etching really different. Yes. Yes. That, that, that she said that she was getting little goobers in her, in her, her etching, but yeah, uh, it wasn't as dry of an etch. So it was kind of pulling up some little, little bits of icing and stuff, no matter what. Which totally makes sense. If it if it doesn't dry as hard, it would it would be problematic. But it looks so good. It's pretty. Here's Danielle Stone. Gorgeous. So yeah. good. Yeah. There's Ilana Levinsky. Wow! Look at the floral. Mm. And Jennifer Goldsmith. Ooh! Wow. That is so gorgeous. Here's Kathy Pedley. Cute. I like the little blueberries on the blue. That's really cool. Tone on tone over there. Cute. Here's Lisa Vance. Mm -hmm. The slight blushing color. I think it's just so dreamy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Here's Marilyn O'Neill. Ah. Uh, yeah. The rose petals are beautiful. Yeah, the little I love it when you're piping. If you're if your consistency is thick enough, you'll get that nice little irregular kind of natural edge on the petal. It's so pretty. I love that. And uh here's Pam Strauss. So good. And this is Sally Shane. Pretty pretty. And by the way, this is the Kansas City Cookiers, which has Sally Shane, Danielle Buller Jack, Tammy Walk Walker, Sandy Keating, Nancy Shemp, and Linda Monroe. And so we got that picture and this one. So cute. What a fun group. And here's Mary Ridley. Cute. A lot of homework this this week, you guys. It's been great. Those blueberries look so real. 
Here's Melanie Talkington. Cute. Yeah, oh, I like the white on white too. That's pretty. The raised leaf. Here's Pamela Schmidt. Wow. Wow. Yeah, and here's Sandy Keating. Gorgeous. Oh, these <laughs> all look so good. And Joni oh, Malfatona. Yeah. Did you see how curly her leaves were? That was really cool. Right here, those yeah. the... Huh, that's really cool. And there's Joni. Wow, that, deep, that blue is so deep. That's so pretty. Now, along with uh, along with the homework, there is also a few um, lend a hand, MacGoober's lend a hand. Um, do you want to tell them what MacGoober's lend a hand is? That is when we serve our community by baking cookies and donating them to a good cause. Hashtag MacGoober's lend a hand, and we'll send you a little little oven mitted patch. Yes. And uh, first up is Ava Dean. And uh, she said that this is a, a, a call to action for Icing Smiles. Love it. Yeah. Next up is oh. Kathy Lorenzo, who made five dozen cookies for Operation Cookie Takeover. Wow. Uh, and uh, thank you to all the men and women who have or are serving in our military. Awesome. Next is Heidi <laughs> Kelly, Heidi, we know, we know uh, Heidi. Heidi, I know. I just, I, I oh man, I want to say it right. I do. Like that's, it, it's a goal of mine to say to say words and names correctly. Yeah. So Heidi said, uh, I was able to whip out 105 cookies in no time thanks to the Eddie and the perfect dip consistency. Wow. Uh, friend Amy Campbell, uh, one of Jeff's running buddies and the Washington State Teacher of the Year for 2020, was Micah's teacher for several years, and this event is very close to her heart. Mm, how cute. Yeah, wow, those are dipped. Yeah, I think that's it's all about consistency. And then the printer, woo! Yeah. And next up is Jeanette Hamilton. And oh this is, yeah, th this is just another, uh, this is another call to action from Icing Smiles. Wow. That so is so... <laughs> Those are so awesome. Oh, what a dream come true. That's so cute. Can you imagine little Weston getting his Hot Wheels cookies? Yeah. Those are amazing. And then we have one more from Harriet Agin, and this is for um, a, a veterans um, honor flight mission uh, that enables uh, U U.S. veterans of World War II, the Korean War, and Vietnam era uh, wars, um, as, where, as well as many terminally ill veterans to visit the memorials of the armed conflict in Washington, D.C. at no cost to the veterans. Uh -huh. um, the mission is accomplished through the generosity of local volunteers and sponsors who give what they can in order to provide this unique experience to the men and women who have proudly served our country. For more information on how you may refer a veteran or become a guardian of an honor flight, um, there is, she did provide a link to the Maguyu student body. How nice. That's so great. Yeah, so that is that is all the homework, all the lend a hand, just a lot going on, you guys. Yeah, that's amazing. I love that. <laughs> Look, it's so much simpler, I think, than you think it is. Heidi's last name. Yeah, I know. Zach Lee. Zach Lee. Zach Lee. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hand crap consistency. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's it's true. But it is it's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, I, I love how it came together. Didn't we have another one that was in a different color palette? I didn't see that one. Yes, but I'm not sure if that was a homework or not. I think she was showing cookies that she did using the skills from this set. Oh, I'm, oh. Not, I'm not sure, though. So I, uh, I'm clarifying. <laughs> And Heidi, with a last name like Adams, it's like it's one of the most basic names ever. John Adams is as a, like a, close to John Smith on the generic scale of names. So yeah, it's uh, I, I, sometimes I have trouble with with unique names that have some character, and I <laughs> more consonants than you. Than and please, saying. and thank you for 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 the reminders. I do appreciate. Short sleeve t-shirts back in Magoo shop soon. 
Um, black is the only one in stock. What's what's the story with that one? I know they, they changed it. Um, I'm sure, yeah. available. The, the, the provider ended up getting out of the shirt that we had. And so now we have to put a new one in and we had one of them, but then we had to switch it. So yeah, it, it will be in by the end of the week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not a problem. Good, good. Yeah. I need to get some, some new apparel as well. Are they working now? Yeah. I saw, I saw it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I, so, so now, now they're getting, uh, uh, they're getting in to start more, more construction right outside your door. Yeah. Um, we also, oh, we had, we have some other things to go over today, huh? Yes, we do. So first, um, we have, there are some live classes coming up. So make sure that, uh, uh, th that you take advantage of Magoo coming to you, uh, mm -hmm. in Michigan next month, the 22nd and 23rd. Uh, there are a few tickets left for that class. And then in St. Louis, there are about half of the tickets left for that class in July. Um, also, this Wednesday uh, is the, the drop date for uh, all uh, CookieCon uh, tickets. Yeah. Yeah, that's Wednesday. It's yeah. going to be Wild Wednesday. That's... that's uh... <laughs> that's always a crazy kind of evening. So hopefully you have that on your, your list. You don't forget this month, 50% off all stainless steel Arden Goo cutters plus the magic cookie lamp. 25% off the new cookie lamp. Remember, if you rub it, you get three wishes uh, when you first open it. But one of those wishes should be for perfect consistency, always. Oh, would you! I wouldn't waste a wish on that. <laughs> it's for the cook. It's it's a cookie wish for the cookie land. It has to be a cookie related wish. Yes, yes. There are also uh, th th there is a new cutter. The STL files are available to all members of you, and the flower cutter uh, from this month's lesson is also available. Yep. If you want to get that, I, I've been loving that cutter. I've used it quite a bit um, since I made it. I, I guess I used it for an in-person class a while ago and then used it this month in class and it's nice. I'm so glad you love the little lamp. I love them too. It's great. It really helps me see the, the contrast of the icing. Um, and speaking of icing, we have a giveaway. Oh. Today, do you want to do a giveaway? Sure thing. We have a giveaway today for anybody who's on, including your Instagram or Facebook or wherever you are. Yes, Dessert Junkie uh, 1012 says hello. Hello, Dessert Junkie. From the Instagram world. I love it. You know, I just heard about a place locally that does like a, a flight of desserts, just like little desserts, a bunch of different ones. I'm like, this sounds like... Where's that? At uh, Lynn's. Oh, we're there. Yeah. A little little dessert flight. I'm like, that's brilliant. Um, just a little, little taste. Um, so we have a giveaway today from Satin Ice. A little, little bucket of meringue powder. Love it. Love Satin Ice. Um, talking about good consistency. You don't need to make a wish about good consistency when you use sad nice. You know it's gonna come out good. <laughs> uh, this is like a commercial. I know. It's super dependable though. I like know what to expect. You know, I'm like, I know it's gonna, I know it's gonna work. I know I can get it really easy, you know, right over at my Michaels or at my Walmart. That's like, oh, I know. Yeah. Yep. And we go through it fast, depending on how many tablespoons you use in your icing. It's like these these little Buckets can go pretty fast. Yeah, try it out. It's a good little little size. Hot and humid. <laughs> We're getting pretty. Oh, you're in St. Louis. We'll be there in a month and a half. A little, little under two months, yeah. 
That's crazy to think about, huh? Oh my gosh. Yeah. A class in St. Louis too. That's going to be fun. Hot and humid. That's what we have to look forward to in a couple, couple months. <laughs> and amazing people. That's, that's the yes. most. It's that nice meringue powder. So, um, what, so what, what you need to do. Absolutely sweet LLC also said it's easy to find. Right. I know that's, I love that about it too. Yep. Easy to get. Um, easy to use your little coupons at, at Michael's too for. Okay. So we can do this as a, as a text match, as a, a, a hashtag. hashtag. So <laughs> what shall we do? Okay, we're going to do, so what you need to do to enter to win right now is you just type in the comments. You need to type in the hashtag. What, what were you going to say? Now, you're, she's going to say the hashtag. You got to give me like three seconds. It, it, it's not a timed thing, so don't worry. Yeah, but it's not like the first one to type it in or anything. Yeah, you got to give me a few seconds, and then I'll, and then I'll let you know when you can type it. And then it'll oh. collect all the comments. Okay. All right. Oh, because you gotta like start something. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. So Here it's me. don't you don't have to have fast fingers. This isn't a cookie con ticket. You're not you're not trying to jump into the, <laughs> the queue the fastest. Um, so we're gonna sit and think about it, meditate on this hashtag for just a minute after we say it. So the hashtag will be satin ice. Um, you don't have to, you don't have to do uppercase S or I or anything like that, right. but one word, right? Hashtag satin ice. All right, yo, here we go. And go that's what it needs. So it doesn't have to have the uppercase though, right? That doesn't matter. No. Okay. Uppercase, just, lowercase, go for it. Okay. And it has to be one word, no space to make sure you get entered in. So yeah, easy peasy. Look at you guys. You guys are so good at following directions. Woo. This is exciting. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's getting in right now. Good. Got a, got 18. Yeah. Absolutely sweet is also in there. She's uh she's in there from uh from, from Instaland. Instagram, Instaland. This is not this is good for a whole year and a half. We're not giving away like this. You have to use this within the next two weeks or anything. December, next Christmas. You have until next Christmas to use this up. Nice. Yeah. yeah but let, let's be real, though. That thing's going to be gone in like uh, within the next month. Like yeah. once somebody gets it, it's going to be gone. Yeah. It is a nice size. It's so cute. Like I, I almost think about like, oh, what would I use this container for after? Because I'm, you know, I like a nice container. All right. But then, but, but be careful that you don't put like a couple of meatballs in there and then you have satin ice sitting in the fridge and you're like, why do I have satin ice in the fridge? And then it's like the meatball container. Meatballs. It's fuzzy meatballs in like three months when you finally open it and go, what was in there? Yeah. You are gross. <laughs> I could like smell what you were saying. I could like, <laughs> the meatball aroma was coming off of your comment. <laughs> Sad nice meatballs. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's smart. Yeah. Hold on to the containers for yes. transfers. I love that. Yeah. That's a good one. All right. Are we ready to draw? I think we are. Here we go. Okay. It's gonna, we'll get all the names coming. That's so fun. Oh, oh, oh it's slowing down. It's ah. slowing down. Oh, ah. it's gonna happen. Who is it? Oh. Hey, all right. <laughs> wow. Wow. I love the confetti. That's such a that's yeah. A <laughs> yeah. It's 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 kind of an of a nice effect there. There you go, Diane. That'll be mailed to you today. Congrats. Oh, little bucket of satin ice that you can put meatballs in after. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, this sounds like a very specific experience that happened. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Meatballs not included. <laughs> awesome. I love I love doing live giveaways. That's so fun. We'll have to do that uh, next week too. Yeah. So join yeah. us in the lives. 
we'll yeah, we, you know, we could we could easily do it, instead of doing Phoebe Fridays, we could just do a giveaway every single Monday. I'm down because it's Fridays. I don't know why Fridays are like really hard. I was thinking about it Saturday and I think, oh my gosh, is it, I should just post it Saturday anyway, but Monday, then we can just do it live and, and have yeah. it. I think yeah. it's fun. Yeah, it's, it is. It's so fun to, to do giveaways too. All right. You're a winner. You dropped your phone in the kitchen sink of water. Oh, okay. Wow. Ah. That's scary. Congratulations, Chris. Also, <laughs> that is a, that is a win. Yay! Yeah, and we have so much stuff um, for Freebie Friday. So it sounds like our our Freebie Fridays are now Freebie Mondays. I know. I like it. Maybe maybe we could maybe we could post a, a picture of what we're giving away on Monday on Friday. So here's the Freebie Friday for Monday. Right, or at some point. How does that um, work? The alliteration isn't going to be there, is it? I know. What's a good M word for? Um. Yeah. My, I was going to say marsupial Monday. That doesn't quite work. Motivational Monday. Mm. Yeah. Maraca Monday. Mm. Monday madness. <laughs> Monday madness. <laughs> yeah, the, I like that. Uh, yeah, we'll get that. We'll get that manic. Just another manic Monday. <laughs> yes. Whoa, whoa. Meatball Monday. <laughs> <laughs> you get a meatball. You get a meatball. <laughs> shorts weather. That is, 55 is not shorts weather, Susan. That is incorrect. Yes, it is because legs don't, don't get cold. Legs do get cold. Legs don't get cold. Do you see, do you see Susan's biopic, the little, little picture? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. Shorts. Yeah. Shorts weather. Eh, no. I mean, I actually need extra motivation to, to get into shorts. I don't wear shorts. Oh. I have, a, I, I always wear shorts, but, but if it's cold, you put on a hoodie. You never put on like, yeah, it's not. Hoodie and shorts. Is that? Yeah. That's what I got on right now. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Absolutely. that sweetest little picture. Oh my gosh. Would you occasionally do it on Friday or an extended time for those who work on Mondays or camping? I know that's the other part. I do yep. I do like to do it on the Friday because so many people can enter in the group too. I know. I think we should still throw those in. I just need to lock those that's in. That's weird. That's not weird. You think hoodies and shorts are weird? Yeah, see? <laughs> Lisa's my people. <laughs> I yeah. just I feel like I look weird in shorts. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. I no, do. you don't. I uh yeah, I have short legs and a long torso. It's just it's not a it's not a good combo for shorts. You need to wear Uggs with shorts. <laughs> yeah, that, that that that's an at-home outfit for sure. <laughs> I know. I, I, I got you. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. That's the yeah, uniform, huh? My uh, my my brother-in-law and I have this theory that that legs don't get cold if you have on a sweater. It's I don't know why I it's it's science. I don't know how it works. It's I think just, you guys are just weird. It's science. Legs don't get cold. Legs don't get cold. Hands <laughs> with <I'm so> shorts. <laughs> It's good to know. We, we can, you can plan on that for Austin. That's good. Okay. No, not, not in the summertime. You know, I've never put on Uggs or Crocs. Those, those two foot, those are the footwears. I've never, I've never tried, but people love them. See yet another reason I why I love you. I bet, I bet they feel like amazing, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Joni said that's magical. I'm going. Uh, I'm going to say that. Yeah, that 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 she's referring to my theory <laughs> about legs not getting cold. That's <laughs> magical. <comments>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep Austin weird. Yeah. <laughs> then what are leg warmers for? If legs don't get warm, 
It was just a fashion thing. Yeah, that was that was the 80s. All all bets were off in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. Um is that everything? I feel I feel like we're Yes, it, yes, it is. Although um, I am curious about something. For those of you that are members of Maguyu, I have a question. Have you guys checked out the uh, the May playlist that uh, that that Artie and I put together? And if you did, what are your thoughts? <laughs> I'm super curious about that because oh, I love doing the playlists every month, and it is part of the the new Maguyu uh, experience on. Uh, uh, Yes, on the Maguyu website, and uh, I, I I think that the desktop version or the lap the uh, uh, the tablet version is better than the, the cell version too. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I'm very curious about uh, uh, Magical Monday. That's that's what it is. Magical Monday. <laughs> and yeah, '80s dress is just it, it's '80s stuff. Um, no, you don't need to subscribe to to Spotify to listen. There is a free option, um, uh, but uh, but Spotify is absolutely a blast. I love Spotify. I think it's better than than Pandora or Apple Music. It's easy to use, and it's it it, it just has such a wealth of music there. The Maguyu experience is making me think it's like a an amusement park. Like, come to the. <laughs> <laughs> you experience yes oh oh funny never huh wow no time is the right time for for listening to boy bands i mean lisa are, are we talking like, like like there are other boy bands out there there's there's uh there's ario speedwagon and metallica and uh um uh, megadeth that's, and that is not on the boy band, band. Sure. that's not it Sure, they are. They're boys and they're bands. Okay, I feel like the the defining factor is there needs to be quite a bit of hair gel to make it a boy band. Mm -hmm. Possibly a perm in there. I think it has to do with the hair. I I think and it has to do with, with whether teenage girls um, mm -hmm. listen to them or not. Mm hmm Definitely. <laughs> Super fan. I was over in the corner with my cure and fresh Oh yeah. Yeah. I nice. love that. <laughs> yeah, my sisters had the new kids on the block poster in their bedroom. I was I was like, eh. Like, this one's mine, this one's mine. You have Joey. And I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't interested. I don't know. Yet another reason why I love you. <laughs> But I do like to listen to boy bands. It's just like, it's good, cheesy fun, you know? Yeah. You need some hair product and some, definitely some choreography. That's, that's another problem. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Hair and choreography. That's the defining, that's the defining part that makes the boy did, band. Did Menudo have, have choreographed uh, yeah. Uh, moves? Yeah. Did they? I think so. Yeah. They definitely did a lot of dancing, right? Then are the temptations a boy band the jackson five is but are the jackson. temptations because they definitely had moves they were older though i guess but not when they started out they were in their 20s yeah, really i have seen megadeth in concert a few times and actually i had a sit down conversation with uh with dave mustaine that was pretty cool wow at the in 84 that's rad Glam rock was the long hair eighties bands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So catchy. I mean, not great, but super catchy, right? And when we were when we were putting the list together, we were listening to them going like, these are these are super catchy pop songs. They just yeah. are so that they're good. They're good. Yeah. You started playing some song that I just, I was started saying every word. I'm like, why do I know this? That was so weird. I'm like, who is this? Those Wait, I, which one was that? I got I to gotta see which one that was. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it's amazing how it, these catchy pop songs get in your head that mm -hmm. 20, 30 years later, you will hear it and go, oh my gosh, I know those words. Why are those words coming out of my mouth? 
That's Why is exactly that taking up space in my brain, you know, space in my brain that I could use for other things? Yes. That is on topic. That is very on topic. That is awesome. Elvis. All right, Kathy won this conversation. <laughs> yeah, clearly. I saw the I saw Shauna Na. <laughs> that was yes. a is that a boy band? <laughs> and you saw them, they were in their 50s, so no. <laughs> right. Shauna Na. That was <laughs> like before we started dating, that was the one concert that Liz had gone to. And it was a free concert, so it doesn't even count. It was like at the fair, you know. Hey, Heather, how are you doing? <laughs> and that's a fun topic right there. What was your first concert, you know? So my first concert with a ticket was, you know what it is? Let's see. Your first one without a ticket. So you, it was like a band? Without, thing? Like it was free. It was it was Sean and I. But my first yes. one, like actual where you get a ticket you go to a concert yes i think okay it was one of, it was one of two things it was mm -hmm. the rolling stones yes uh rolling stones was my first concert when we were dating mm -hmm. that's awesome that's so awesome rod stewart <laughs> bowser right <laughs> my first concert was john denver in like 19 i want to say 81 or 82. Really? yeah my mom and dad took me. Um, the the um, Everly Brothers. No, that was the first concert that I got, got to. Tickets. Yeah, and I won them on a radio station contest when I was like 13. Yeah. School fight song, totally. Yeah. Yeah. I can still remember my... I don't think I remember... I don't remember a fight song, but I remember the um, alma mater. You know, we're just a tip waiter. He says, front row balcony. Oh. <laughs> Chicago. Oh. That's, and, and that's with Peter Cetera. Heck yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Billy Idol. Nice. <laughs> Great. And and Instagram, if you want to chime in, you, you're more than welcome to chime in with, uh, with your first concert experience. Rush. Rush. Nice. That's okay. When you when that next time that that a rush song comes on, keep in mind that that full big it sounds so big, and that's three guys. It's only three guys. That's cool. Yeah. Crosby, Stills, Nash. No Pretty young. young. No so young. 1960. Let's see. Let's see. Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young were like. 69 70 so you must have seen him in 68 what is that like he's like no need to say the year no, <laughs> well, no I'm, I'm just trying i'm trying to do the math that's that's like like woodstock <laughs> aaron carter oh man nice <laughs> that's a boy yeah that was a oh. who and santana okay so good. that's cool this is so good that's some good. of these that's so good cassidy brothers yeah, David Cassidy and uh, really? Sean Cassidy. Yeah. I didn't realize he, he performed with a brother. That's so cool. That's yeah, fine. Sean. Huh. Huey David Lewis Cassidy. the News. So good. Huey Lewis the News. That's awesome. Oh, Eagles. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't Don Hanley that passed away, though. It was uh it was uh oh my gosh. Who who's saying the heat is on? Um Hold on. It was, uh, Glenn Fry. Glenn Fry, who passed away. Hmm. Well, she, I worked others before that. Oh, interesting. That's cool. Oh, Nancy, that is rad. That is so cool that you saw them back then. So cool. The Beach Boys. Oh, this is so good. Diana Ross in 1980. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, you were like one or two when you saw them, right? I'm Aerosmith. Dire Straits. Oh my gosh. With Dire Straits. And then ACDC. Yeah. Good shows. One of your Facebook groups had a question yesterday about what concerts you've seen now. Oh, yeah, more than once. Took me a half hour to think through my list. Yeah. 
you start to forget, like you think you'll always remember, but I've been telling John that we need to write these down because you do yeah. start to forget. If you see a lot, uh, red hot chili peppers. Oh, that's good. Right. Um, senior ball. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, my, uh, the, the association who's saying cherish and, uh, when, uh, 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 Wendy, um, they, they performed at my dad's prom oh my gosh. in like 1960. Seven or something. That's so cute. Yeah. Glenn Fry and Halen. <laughs> you are the you do like DLR. Yeah, you <laughs> Liz loves David. I can't. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Frank Sinatra. Wow, wow, wow. So oh, what? Care. At a, what? At, but at a taping of Ed Sullivan. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, you guys are rad. ACDC, yeah, they put on a show. Really good, really good stuff. It, that was that ACDC show was probably the loudest concert that I've ever been to, and I've been to I, I don't know, almost a thousand shows. I bet. Yeah. Nice you know, fights like with yeah that was wild James Taylor yeah Tower Power oh my gosh blood sweat and tears I love that uh, I saw a poster <laughs> no that's my nightmare <laughs> blood sweat and tears um, yeah at a small bar type venue that's cool <laughs> yeah who have you seen twice or more who's the most seen I think we've seen America more than any other band america chicago yeah chicago we've seen four or five times but um, i think america we've seen like eight or nine times because they've been at the fair we bumped into them a couple of times like at disneyland yeah, they were doing right. like a free show um yeah uh, we've seen elton john four or five times yeah i've only seen crazy. twice i think you've seen it yeah oh yeah I mean. <laughs> yeah Yeah, it's it's a necessity when you're decorating. You gotta have the right mood. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! Garth Brooks four times. We saw him once. That was amazing. Uh, didn't see Queen. Yeah, there are those two. Those shows. Dang it! Dang it! Yep. I, I could have seen John Denver about uh, about two months before he passed. Mm. And I didn't because I thought, oh, well, that's down in Thousand Oaks. And he's going to, he, he's always. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's why you got to, yeah, you got to, like you were talking about, you buy things, food or something, or you think about tickets or something special and then you save it. You're like, oh, I want to save that for later. I want to say that. Don't save. Don't save for later. Enjoy those things. You know, I'm going to buy this and I'm going to enjoy it. Yes. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, got to think differently. Oh, see, okay, I I could have seen Rush and I didn't, and I wish I did. That's funny. Nice. Yeah, you got to even it out. Yeah, life is too short. Yeah. Yeah, there. I um, I I was invited to go see uh uh Pink Floyd, and I told him no just because I I don't like Pink Floyd. Of all the music, uh, I've I love so much music. I can't stand Pink Floyd. <laughs> yep, seize the day. Agreed. Oh, so cool! Wow, no kidding. Always <laughs> empty restrooms. <laughs> yeah, Neil Young. Yeah, Neil Young always he he looks to me like he has RBF all the time. Yeah. He's, yeah. He looks like the most angry person ever. Zero and, stage presence. Like, yeah, yeah. He plays wonderfully, and he he doesn't sing wonderfully. I I don't I don't like his singing. Voice. I don't like I don't like Bob Dylan for that either. Wonderful songwriter, but mm -hmm. songs sound better when somebody else poets. is singing. They're poets. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Neil Young was was recently at a <clears throat> at a record store right here in town, and I was gonna go, gonna go get an, an autograph, but then I thought I, he 
yeah, he just seems so angry to me. I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> Marillion. I don't even know that name. What's that yeah, name? that's a rock band. I want to say they're from, oh gosh, I want to say the UK, but that, I could be wrong there. But I have a friend who's a huge Marillion fan. I've seen them like 30 times. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Dylan's great for karaoke. For those of us who can't sing, you know, make that song sound better than he did. Yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> People are like, I love that cover. Uh, uh, no, no, it was an American Idol study. Oh wow. Yes. Oh, uh huh. Okay. That's interesting, man. We haven't seen American Idol forever. Mm -hmm. I loved Winona. So oh, cool. Good. Yeah, just cr this is crazy. This is great. Yeah, this makes me go like, oh, I need to listen to these mm -hmm. these people because either I haven't listened to them for a really long time, or I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't really know that group as well as I, I probably should. Did you, what was what do you, what's one of your top uh, uh, concert going experiences like the whole the, I guess the whole evening or the the venue, you know, all of it put together. You could probably guess, but, uh, oh, really? Mm, I love her voice. I I think it's Michael Buble in that little club in San Diego, like 100 people. Man, that was amazing. Yes. Because of the small amount of people, but also Harry Connick Jr. Um, we were just right there. He, he is amazing. We were front row to Harry Connick Jr. last year. Yeah, that man is just a musical genius, you know, and he's so personable. So, yeah, I, I don't know. But there's so many. Those just seem so intimate, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so this amazing drummer, which I so love. Heavy metal, Boston Sticks, Stones, Toby Mac, Casting Crowns, Mercy Me. So, yeah, James Taylor. I love James Taylor. Bruce. Training Tim McGraw. Oh, yeah. I forgot that we saw Tim McGraw. See, I'm forgetting. Yeah. I know. Simmons. He was at the stage point of me and waved. <laughs> Gene Simmons. Yeah, you met Gene. Uh, I've uh, I've met him a few times. He's he's Gene, always. <laughs> yeah. Can we go play this for traveling to the cruise? I went for Oh, good idea. Yes, we will. That's that's the uh, it's going to be uh, the October playlist. And it kind of pains me that we're not going to have a Halloween playlist, but there might be a Halloween playlist that appears in September of this year. So, yes. Hmm. Interesting. Harry Connick Jr. Yeah. I think I think that was a huge one on my list that I don't know. I, I didn't know if it would happen. So it it was better than I imagined. Went like Peter went. Uh, my first was Beastie Boys. That's rad. That's a good one. <laughs> Intimate shows, yeah. You, you feel like you get to know the person a little bit more than if it was just a huge arena show. Yeah, I'm. I'm curious to see the. You're gonna do like a Greece themed playlist. Yes. Yes, I have it, ideas. Don't you think it would change after you went there? Perhaps. Looks. Perhaps, but I, I I got some I got some ideas for yeah. that. So yeah, you guys are rad. That was fun. Four guitars at the same concert. Aaron Johnson, yeah. Chris Satriani. CV. Wow. Yeah. Best it's hard to say. Yeah. Train. Train is one of the best. Train. You've never, train. You've never been to a train concert. Tra train is like my least liked <laughs> artist of all time. I, I I can't stand that dude. Oh, <laughs> I'm not. And everybody has those too. Like where you're just like something just drives me crazy about that person. Like David Lee Roth for me. I'm like I don't like <laughs> can't handle him. But I understand like he's you know. <laughs> my my mom thought he was like the sexiest thing ever. Like my mom loved David Lee Roth. And then she was at Burger Continental in Pasadena and he came in and she said, he's like, 
shorter than she is and she was she was like just in awe that david lee roth came in and got a burger herb albert we just got to see him incredible yes so good uh <laughs> we're seeing nickelback twice back to back of the same show then see a train song performed live wow yeah wow yeah i like that's the level of just disdain i have for that dude wow he seems like a cool guy though like as a human right you can't even get past it you i can't i can't I, i'm sure I, i'm sure he is a wonderful person i'm sure he's great i've seen him on a on a of 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 what was it a, a holiday hallmark movie hallmark movie so i i know it i know he's a, an awesome guy because he was able to do that but dude <laughs> his music is putrid wow i don't yeah. agree I don't agree. Uh, oh, I, I met Leon Russell. Um, that was at, uh, I went to the, oh gosh, I think it was the 30th anniversary of the last waltz. I worked on that project when I was at Rhino and they did a reunion concert and event in New York. So we flew out there and Robbie Robertson, uh, we were on Robbie, actually we were on Paul Allen's private plane and Robbie Robertson was there and he was, he was on a plane with us. We flew out there. Um, I met him. I met Leon Russell. Uh, uh, Richard Gere was there. It was, um, it was, who was, who, oh gosh, who was it that played Frankenstein in, um, in, in young Frankenstein? Oh my gosh. Uh, but I, I now the, the name's escaping me, but, but I met him as well. He was really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Shirley Valentine. Okay. You wrote that down. Okay. Got it. You got a high five from him. <laughs> I'm sure it was awesome. <laughs> yes, but your playlist will not be. And Canadian. Yes, they are. I know people give them a hard time. They're here, right? They're playing here this summer. Yeah, at the fair. Yeah. I'm I'm not going to be around. <laughs> Again, just yeah, it's nickelback, it's fine, but yeah. Eh. <laughs> okay, that's great. Wow. That's very cool. Yeah, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes that's right. I can't think yes. of his real name. Gene something. Oh, it's uh oh my gosh, it's driving me nuts. Somebody will have it. Somebody will have it. But George Strait, you saw George Strait. Yeah. Love him. Love him. Yeah, they'll be here. Nickelback. Oh, I know. Here. I know. I it's time. We're going over time here. It's our, our minute, our Magoo minute has passed. I know. <laughs> yeah, Pat, Pat Monahan is the dude's name. And he's okay. He's, oh. he's what? I, I just, I, I th Peter there are certain, Boyle. Yeah. There are certain artists, Peter Boyle. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Thank you. Um, there are certain artists that I don't get. Train has got to be at the top of the list. Like, cause I don't understand why people like, like that music, but uh, th like number two is probably Bruce Springsteen. I don't get him. I don't either. Yeah. But and then number three. I don't hate him. <laughs> no, I, I don't hate him. I just don't get it. But you do hate the train guy. Yes. <laughs> then, but then I don't get the Grateful Dead either. Right. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> yeah, it's always a good time, guys. You guys, are, you saw George Strait two weeks ago. Man, I, had, I need to. That's great. I know, right? Such a sensitive subject. Who knew? I just have right. opinions. I have opinions <laughs> about music. I don't have I don't have many opinions about cookies, but I do have opinions about music. It, it's like me with Corey Feldman. I cannot handle yes. him. I, there's something about it that I'm like, he makes me angry. Yeah, I I have wanted to watch um the uh, Lost Boys with you. 
uh, like for the past like 10 Halloweens. I'm like, hey, let's watch Lost Boys. I haven't seen that forever. Like, one of the and, things I can handle him is, is Goonies. And it's still, he annoys the heck out of me. He annoys me so much. But he's younger and I'm like, I can I can handle a very young Corey Feldman. Yes. What about uh, uh, what about uh, uh, Stand by Me? Or what? Well, Stand by Me is he great. Annoys the heck out of me and everything. You know, little known fact: Corey Haim was also the kid in uh, Murphy's Romance. Yes, he's a he's wonderful. But Corey Feldman, like I can't even say his name without. Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's terrible. Corey. Really? You yeah, license to drive. Yes. Uh 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 uh. Yeah. Uh, nope nope nope. Makes me angry. You're like that with Ryan Gosling. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. No, I could. I mean, that's funny. Some people just. I don't know what it is. I want the cruise girl to ring me. Do I know you? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Yeah, License to Drive is just that that's an American classic, really. No. It, it is. It is. It also has uh what's her face in it? Uh oh gosh, I, her name is Mercedes in the, the movie, but yeah. I, I couldn't sit through that whole, I don't even know. I can't handle it. Sage will watch that with me because it's it's just it's a stupid fun movie. <laughs> there was a movie that I watched last night that was awful. But I haven't seen it in like 30 years. So what I was it called? it's called Hiding Out. John Cryer is in it. And With the, the worst hair, black on top and blonde on the sides. There's a reason that look did not catch on because holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, but that movie, the, the like the whole premise of the movie is that that he's he's the stockbroker who's hiding from somebody wants to kill him for some reason and then he's he's hiding at his 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 nephew's high school because he looks young and so then he starts dating like this high school girl in high school and then it's so weird yeah there were some problematic 80s movies yeah <laughs> definitely yeah, this is a fun movie, and then you watch it, and you're like, oh, 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 that's a little cringy. Oh, that's a... <laughs> a gentleman from Moscow. Interesting. There's no Corey Feldman, right? <laughs> yeah. Is... <laughs> is John Cryer in this one? I love John Cryer. I do. I mean, he's he's pretty fun. But... Yeah. Yes, yeah. it was super creepy. That movie was super creepy. Yeah, where it was just like, mm -hmm. oh, this is so fun and whatever and you're like eh, eh. <laughs> no Corey. okay good okay no Corey. neither neither of the Corys, right okay <laughs> all right friends we went way um way over and off the deep end which was is always fun i love it i love hearing your stories right down the rabbit hole just yeah right good, these are good little rabbit holes to go down with you We've learned more and more about each other. Whoa, there was a good echo there. All right, so we'll be here next Monday and we're gonna see a, a big change in the update on the kitchen next week because we will have walls. It was fun. It's almost like hanging out with you, Heather. It was so great. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the, the kitchen will look so different. That'll be awesome. You guys have a great week. You guys are fantastic. Listen to some good music this week. And I hope you have a delicious day.